I'm here with my mate Troy and he's got a great YouTube channel called Save the Snakes. You've got to go check it out. There's going to be a link in the description box here. And what he does is he rescues snakes from people's backyards, from when snakes ever get into trouble. He's part of WIRES and here in, in Australia, WIRES rescues all sorts of wildlife. And today he's caught a red-bellied black and he's going to release it in this really nice uh, scenic wonderland here. Yeah. So can you tell me a bit about this snake? It's a bit injured, isn't it? Um, he wasn't actually injured. He was just uh, happened to be in someone's uh, backyard and uh, they weren't really happy with him being there. He was just local here. Um, and so, um, you know, they had kids and they were a bit worried about their kids and being in their backyard. So I came along and um, rescued it and I've um, now got this beautiful habitat for him where it would be much more suitable. I think, I think it's really important to say that we're actually rescuing the snakes from humans. Yeah, we are actually. Yeah. You know, we, we, you know, the, the humans people, hurt the snakes. That's right. The, um, the people ring up and uh, for me to go out and catch it because they're worried about um, being bitten but really when I, I do it my perspective is I'm actually rescuing the snake because I'm more worried that they'll actually come along with a shovel if I don't and, and uh, the snake will be harmed and of course you know that's not a good thing so. And the thing is uh, okay the red bellied black is an extremely venomous snake it is. but it's not really a dangerous snake. No, dangerous. you wouldn't call it a dangerous snake. You, you, know, you will get very sick. It's certainly something I wouldn't want to get bitten by because um, I've heard it said that it'll make you so sick you'll want to die. Um, but, but yeah. certainly not a not a snake that I've heard some horror stories. Dangerous, but yeah, when it, even if it's extremely venomous, like the copperhead's extremely venomous, I don't call it a dangerous snake because it doesn't seek out and attack people. It doesn't. Uh, it's not fiery in temperament, it just wants to do its own thing, that's right. be left alone basically. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to let, let it go here and hopefully this will be a place where maybe he's going to bother it too much and yeah. it can live its peaceful life. That's right. And they like water, don't they? They love water. So yeah, so um, you know you've got all this long grass here and you've got behind me there's some uh, some trees and woodlands and, and it's right next to the river here so this is the sort of area where you would find a lot of red bellies. They love this kind of habitat where it's nice and wet, nice and moist, lots of water. So. Yeah. Oh, there he is. See an old injury there. And there he goes. Okay, he's there, survived, buddy. you know. There's the water. Whoa. Off he goes. Look at that. Look at that. There he goes. Like an eel. <laughs> he's right down on the bottom too. Look at that. 